Spinach our presentation at China Global Media Inc. Brought to you by allfunnystocks.com. China Global is a bolt and board listed company trading our ticker CGLO. Take a look at a couple low volume plays this week as technical stocks to watch. Sort of plays can move fast and furious with any sort of real volume. The CGLO was particularly interesting even though the low volume dropped a bullish harami on Thursday, confirmed that pattern on Friday, came back out with another up day yesterday, up around 3.5%, 5,500 shares traded. It's holding a nice base at 11 cents and has a nice upside from a percentage standpoint from current levels. Seeing the MACD trending back towards zero, that's a positive divergence. Price per share is trending down, MACD is trending up. Flatlined a little bit over the last month. And coming off this base, I'm going to want to see this 12 and 26 hook a little bit harder and try and break through the money line. Because a bullish harem is a low reliability reversal pattern. So I'm looking for a strong shift in trend to add some credence to the idea that this is indeed finding a true bottom pull that line back off of there so it doesn't get in the way later. PPO also making higher lows. Much like the MACD, I'm looking for higher highs. ADX down around 10. That's where I start to look for a reversal. Now as I reference a lot of times with really liquid plays, the ADX touching 10 or dipping below is typically a great area to look for a reversal point. The low volume takes away from that a little bit, but it's still an area where I look for some direction to be established with some strength. MFI is pushing near 50. Of course, I want to see them on the upper half of that indicator. Accumulation distribution is still downtrending. I just look for a base to be held. Same thing with shake of money flow. I don't want to see it making new lower lows. CCI has pushed through negative 100. That's something that I always look for. Bottom feeders would use that break of negative 100 as a buy point. Any break back down through negative 100 would represent a sell point again. Full still in oversold territory, making its way back upward. Still very low, but a little bit of momentum looks like it's trying to come into the play. In the tricks, I'd like to see a bullish cross through this area to establish some sort of a higher low. The three straight green closes have turned the RSIs. They're at a pretty critical point where I want to see the 7 start to push through 50. Then more importantly, I want to see this 14 and 21 follow behind it to signal some strong momentum coming into the play. Now as I mentioned, stock is holding a base. That 11 cent mark would be the bottom support I'd ultimately want to see hold. The stock is facing a little bit of resistance heading into today's trading, as 15 was the support area, and when it fell through it in classic TA fashion, it's serving as a resistance point. Now if it can break through 15, it's got a nice upside to 20 cents as the next level of resistance. It would also signal a key point of pushing through this purple line, the 20-day moving average. That's the middle of the Bollinger Bands. If the price per share did break through that, even if it went up and just challenged 17 or 18, and they wanted to pull back a little bit, that held on top of that moving average, held over top of the 15 cent level again, I'd have my eye peeled with this chart to possibly try and put together some sort of uptrend from that point forward. Now it's going to meet a little bit more resistance, just a little higher at 22, but I would anticipate much stronger resistance at 30. That's not something I look for tomorrow, because it's a plain double from where it is, but this chart has shown in the past in a matter of a couple days, it can move very fast. That's what I mentioned, you start to see volume come into these low float plays, stock price moving from a bottom of 16 all the way up to 50, even through here, around 50, 55, 56, all the way up to touch a dollar nine. In similar fashion, price per share can fall off just as quickly. That's a risk reward factor of playing low volume plays. And on the same token, that's the reason it's on watch right now. See if volume's gonna come in, see if it's gonna blow through some resistance and put together a much stronger move. Those are the type of things that I'll be looking for in the CGLO chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. So with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. I do not base any investment decisions upon any material found on the website and or its video chart. No person employed by Allpenny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.